Hello everyone and welcome back to Jus de Rose. With Valentine's Day around the corner, I've compiled a new list of seductive fragrances for men and women. If you'd like to know what my topics were for last year, I will link that video down below. There are some different fragrances, so you may want to check it out as well. Now the question is, are you ready to be the most irresistible version of yourself? Because clearly your fragrance does everything for you. Take that with a pinch of salt. No, but really, fragrances do help boost confidence and make you feel sexy, so if you're in that kind of a mood, then this video is for you. Kicking off with one of the most sensual vanillas, Material by Amouage. This vanilla is rich, buttery, incense-like, and intoxicating. It celebrates more the woody, darker side of vanilla with notes of benzoin, frankincense, labdanum, and tonka bean. The warm, diffusive quality of this scent is ultra luxurious. I always say it feels like silk on the skin. It's intimate and inviting and it's exactly the type of scent I want to wear when I want to feel my best and sexy on a date. It's a unisex fragrance, in my opinion leaning more towards feminine. However, some of you gentlemen who have been watching my videos where I've mentioned this fragrance say that you also own this scent and that you adore wearing it. So. Yeah, wear whatever makes you happy ultimately. It is a fantastic vanilla scent. Personally, my favorite fragrance from Amouage. And in terms of performance on my skin, it lasts over eight hours with moderate to soft projection. Next up, we have a new discovery from Celine. It is Black Tie. And I just wanted to tell you how impressed I was with the entire collection of Celine fragrances. I think this collection is relatively new. I found it in the Celine boutiques. I don't think you can get them everywhere. I have a few of those I want to add to my never ending wish list, as usual. Black Tie is another vanilla fragrance that is very different, though, to Amouage. I wanted to give you a contrasted choice. So there is a fragrance for everyone. A sweet, sexy vanilla fragrance with some boozy undertones. And those boozy undertones, I really do get them in the opening of the fragrance, but then they kind of go away, drift apart, as the fragrance develops on my skin to leave place for more of an innocent but still very sensual vanilla. It's a clean, non-sticky or resinous vanilla. It kind of dries down a little bit powdery too, super smooth, really beautiful. If you want a vanilla that is easily wearable, that isn't too sweet, black tie is fantastic. It's a type of vanilla that doesn't try too hard, but yet has a very effective power of seduction. Even though it's called black tie, I wouldn't necessarily say this is dinner in the ballroom kind of a fragrance. To me, it's more of a casual chic perfume that you can dress up in the evenings with a beautiful dress. It just will make you feel really luxurious and expensive smelling, personally. That, that's just what I get from the scent. And on my skin, it lasts around eight hours with moderate projection. I have two Rose to Oud combos to share with you. And again, they're very different. The first one is Scherzo by Miller Harris, a musky Oud to Rose, Rose, Rose combo. The florals in this fragrance are very fresh, dewy almost, so quite luminous and are anchored by a sweet Oud note. Without this Oud note, this fragrance would be innocent and flirtatious. Now with it, it adds a little je ne sais quoi and turns this fragrance into an ultra sensual sex bomb. And there is an undeniable musky skin to skin note that makes for such a beautiful scent trail. Strong projection, super long lasting. For me, this is a 10 out of 10 niche fragrance. I would repurchase this fragrance over and over again. That being said, it can be a little bit polarizing to some. It's not a safe blind buy, definitely don't do that. Test it on your skin, how it works out with your chemistry. The best perfume, in my opinion, from Miller Harris. So if you want like a really great date night banger, then try out Scherzo. And the second Rose to Oud combo is Oud Satin Mood by Maison Francis Cure Jean. Ah, oh, this is such a lady killer and man killer scent. It's the Black Widow of Rose fragrances. Bold, seductive, alluring, and will eat you alive. She's a deep wine colored rose embellished with violet, amber, oud, and benzoin. It smells rosy, a little fruity and sweet, powdery with powerful woody tones. I do very much enjoy the violet powdery side of this scent. It's unusual in such a composition and on my skin reveals itself the most in the dry down. I smelt the x-ray version the other day and it is even better than the original fragrance. Like that is a flanker I can totally go behind. It is so much more intoxicating and it has such an addictive, sweet amber base that is 
amazing, really, truly amazing. Anyway, Oud Satin Mood is a fragrance I like to wear at a candlelit dinner with some red wine, obviously paired with red lips and a sexy dress with a high slit. If you know what I mean, that kind of a vibe. And in terms of performance on my skin, it lasts over 12 hours with a monstrous sillage. This is a beast mode fragrance. If this is what you're into, then you're gonna be served with Oud Satin Mood. And it is also unisex. Gentlemen, if you wanna wear this fragrance, go ahead. You can also share it with your partner, which is really nice. Another 10 out of 10 niche fragrance. This next one is Ombre d'Or by Christian Provenzano. So I'm thinking gold amber, probably this is going to be like a rich, super sweet, thick, dense fragrance, maybe with like some incense interlaced in it. Wrong! This perfume couldn't be more different. It's a freshy and what a magnetizing scent this is. So this perfume has main notes of rose, amber and berries, but honestly, I can't really detect any of these notes in this perfume, it's kind of like a mishmash of things. What I do detect the most is ambroxan. Even though it's not listed in the ingredients, I do find some sort of like ambroxan vibe with the scent. And when ambroxan is done right, it is simply irresistible. And if you've been watching my channel, you know how much I like ambroxan. So to me, this perfume is easily likable, kind of a compliment getting DNA easy to understand, more on the commercial side. If you're into fragrances such as Brut de Chanel, Dior Sauvage, Creed Aventus, so that kind of fresh DNA that is easy to like, that is compliment getting, and for the most part is very sexy, then there's a good chance that you'll enjoy Ombre d'Or by Christian Provenzano. Such an easy niche entry type of a scent. Another one for you gentlemen that I'd recommend is Le Mal de Parfum by Jean-Paul Gaultier. This is by far the best flanker, in my opinion, from the range. That is a flanker that is still easily available to purchase and not any of the discontinued ones. Now, if you're a bit confused with the sheer volume of Le Mal fragrances, I've broken down the flankers that you can still get today in a video with a lot of detail, so I'll link that one down below. What I love so much about Le Mal Le Parfum is that it retains the characteristics of the original Le Mal, so that amber fougère DNA with lavender and vanilla but it's modernized and premiumized with the addition of iris and cardamom. It feels more elevated and formal than the original Le Mal, and for me, it's even sexier. You really can't go wrong by adding a sprinkle of cardamom to a scent, especially a masculine fragrance. This perfume is spicy, a little bit sweet, touch powdery as well from the iris, but not in a lipsticky kind of way, and very woody. Such a likable scent, and in terms of performance on my skin, it lasts all day, with a moderate to soft projection. Definitely the softest projection out of all Limal fragrances, but you know, that's kind of what you need on a date. So highly, highly recommend it for date night. Didn't I just say that cardamom instantly transforms a men's fragrance into a sexy beast and takes it from here to here? Well, I have another one of those fragrances, Bulgari Man in Black. This perfume is insane. It's a spicy, boozy scent with cardamom, rum, tobacco, and tonka bean. It's warm, a little sweet, and spicy. It's like the scent of a sexy pirate. You got the booze, the spices, a sense of adventure, and danger. Now, there are some mixed feelings about the performance of the scent, and specifically how long-lasting it is. I've experienced this perfume to last five to six hours on my skin, with regular spraying, which is a little bit disappointing and a little bit frustrating at the same time. However, some of you have said that it lasts all day. So my advice to you would be just spray it on your skin, see how it goes. And you know what? Even if it doesn't last, I would still recommend this fragrance because it smells fantastic and it's just one of the sexiest fragrances I've smelt on a man. Just overspray, overspray, overspray on your skin, on your clothes, bathe in this perfume. Like, like that, you'll be able to smell it, definitely. Five, six sprays won't do anything. Drench yourself in the scent. And if you're into fragrances such as Rehab by Inicio, Spice Bomb Extreme, those type of like sweeter, spicier scents, then definitely check out Bulgari Man in Black. And finally, we have a scent for the ladies with Deep Red by Hugo Boss. This perfume is such an underrated gem, like early 2000s type of a scent that is super affordable as well. You can get a really good deal at discounters and it regularly goes on promotion as well, at least on UK websites, 
which is always nice. You know, I kind of like a fragrance deal here and there. If you are sick of always smelling those like floral, fruity, sticky sweet perfumes that you often get like I'd say 90% of the time in designer fragrances and you're looking for something different that probably not a lot of people are wearing today, check out Deep Bread by Hugo Boss. Some of the notes include blood orange, freesia, ginger, vanilla and sandalwood. It smells spicy, lightly citrus, warm, woody, a little musky. Honestly, just go out and try it. It's really beautiful and sexy and doesn't smell like any other fragrance. The downside with this perfume, unfortunately, is the performance. I have a feeling it has been watered down compared to the original that I used to wear years and years ago, like many fragrances, unfortunately. So on my skin, it lasts between five to six hours, which is a shame, but I do recommend you check it out still if you can find a good deal on it. Get this fragrance at a discount, don't buy it full price, get it at a discount and see if you like it. Hopefully you'll like it as much as I do. And that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what fragrance you're gonna wear this Valentine's Day. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching and remember, spread the fragrant love.